So in today's video, I'll show you how to paint this cute sheep illustration. At the end, I'll reveal a top secret illustration technique called skewing, and I'll show you how to use it to instantly add more character and charm to simple illustrations like this. In the description below, you can find a list of the brushes I'm using here, along with a free download for the sheep sketch so you can follow along with me. I'm gonna start with the abstract round brush and a pretty rich, but still kind of dark brown tone. And I'm gonna use it to fill out the kind of wooly portion of the sheep. And I'm trying to make it so that the edge of this is pretty rough. After that, I'm gonna add some kind of blobs of lighter and darker browns to add more variation. And then I'm gonna switch over to the water blender brush and use that to kind of blend all of this together. After that, I'm gonna switch back to the abstract round and I'm gonna use a very dark brown color, almost black. And I'm gonna use that to fill in the tail and the legs. And then I'm gonna use it very carefully on the head. And I can always kind of erase it and correct it back. But down here where the head kind of meets the body and where the ear meets the body, I'm gonna to try to be really careful there. Now my colors here have gone way beyond my sketch. That's okay on the woolly portions, but I needed to correct this around the head and the legs and the tail. So I'm gonna grab the eraser brush, set to the fine liner pen, and I'm gonna use it to erase back to match the sketch. But the problem is I can't really see my sketch because this is such a dark brown color. So what I'm gonna do is, since everything so far is on this one layer, I'm just gonna lower the opacity of that layer until I can see my sketch. And then I'm gonna use the eraser brush to uh, kind of cut it back to match the sketch. And once I'm done erasing, I'll raise the opacity back to 100, so it's back to normal. Now these features here are pretty dark, but I want them to sort of fade even darker towards the ends. So to get that effect, I'm gonna grab the selection tool, set to freehand, and I'm gonna select kind of each feature here, feather it out, hue saturation and brightness, and just shift it so it sort of fades from a dark brown to a black. And I'll go through and do this to everything. After that, I'm gonna grab the water blender again, and I'm gonna use it this time at a smaller size, and I'm gonna blend where all these kind of darker features kind of meet the body, so there's a kind of soft transition. Now, I think a really important feature of this illustration is the different textures, and I wanna sort of exaggerate them. So these uh, head and tail and the feet, those features are gonna stay quite smooth but I left the wool area much rougher, and I wanna enhance and exaggerate that roughness. So to do that, I'm gonna make a layer above my sheep. I'm gonna choose a brown color very similar to my sheep color, and I'm gonna change my brush to a default Procreate brush. It's in the Charcoals tab here. It's called Burnt Tree, and I'm gonna use it at a really small size, and basically just go along the edge here. I think that might be a little bit too dark. I'll lighten it up. And I'll just go along the edge here, and you can see it gives it a really nice kind of fuzzy effect. And after that, I also want to exaggerate the surface texture of the wool. So I'll make another new layer. This time I'll select pure white. I'm going to change my brush to a different default brush in the drawing tab. It's called Little Pine. And I'm going to use it to do basically scribbling all over the sheep's wool. After that, I'm gonna change my brush back to the uh, watercolor brushes and to the water blender. And I'm gonna use it at a large size and just soften this kind of scratchy texture up in a couple areas. And also, if you feel like the scratchy effect is too strong, you can always control that by uh, lowering the uh, layer opacity. And after that, I can finally move on and add the face details. Now I'm sort of facing the same issue I had before where I can't really see my sketch clearly. So I'm gonna lower the opacity of the uh, layer that has the body of the sheep just a little bit so I can barely see the uh, sketch. Then I'm gonna do the face details on a blank layer above everything. And I like a kind of scratchy effect for these details. So I'm gonna switch back to the uh, little pine brush in the drawing tab. And I'm gonna do all the face details, just the ears in pink, the eyes in black and white, and because of the face of this sheep is so dark, 
I'm gonna do the mouth details in white so they have contrast. And after the face is finished, I'll restore the opacity of the body of the sheep here back to 100. I'll turn off the sketch and then I'll merge all my sheep layers onto one. Now at this point, the sheep could be finished, but I wanna show you this kind of skewing technique that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And I think it's a good way to make this illustration more interesting. So basically, because the sheep is on one layer, I can use the arrow tool set to distort and I can pull this kind of bottom node here and stretch the illustration. And if I pull it like this, it gives this kind of a kind of forward leaning energy or perspective that makes it more interesting. The downside of it is it affects the face and in this case it really changes the expression in a way I don't like. So I'm gonna undo that. Now to avoid this problem, I need to put the head of the sheep on a different layer than the body. Then I can kind of distort them separately. And to do that, I'll grab the selection tool, set to freehand. And I'm just gonna select the head here and kind of close along the back. And this is really important. I'm gonna tap that gray node so the selection is totally connected. Then I'm gonna go down to feather and I'm gonna feather it just three or 4%. And I need this feather dialog to go away. So I'm just gonna tap on the screen to clear that. Then I'm gonna use three fingers and just swipe down on the screen. It brings up this kind of secret menu here and I'm gonna click cut and paste. And it will activate the arrow tool just kind of by default. So I'm gonna tap on that to go out of it. And if I open the layers panel, you can see what's happened. It's basically cut out the head of the sheep and put it on a different layer and the body of the sheep is down here. So I'm gonna select the layer with the body of the sheep. Then I'm gonna grab the arrow tool again, set to distort. I'm just gonna distort the body and kind of lean it forward a little bit. Then I'll zoom in on the head, select the layer with the head and kind of move this around and try to roughly line it back up where it belongs. I think that's pretty good. Then I'm gonna set this to warp and I'm gonna very carefully bend the head to sort of reattach it. And I'm being careful not to distort it too much that it messes with the expression. There we go. And if you're happy with the changes, you can merge the head and the body back together. And just like that, our little sheep here is all finished. As always, if you enjoyed this video and you think I've earned it, please give this video a like and if you'd like to paint some more cute watercolor animals in this style, I think you might like to watch one of these two videos next.